Hello, I'm back again with another review, and today we are reviewing the classic class Blocky's Transformers for the latest Transformers 1 movie, and I've got Megatron and Optimus. So we'll start with Megatron first, and here he is, and just gotta say what a lovely figure this is. So this is the one with the purple sigil, as you can see a tiny little Decepticon sigil, which is right at the end of the movie for anybody who's watched it. And this one also comes with, da, 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 da. there we go, his eyes glow up, which is awesome. So as you saw last time for with the Optimus Primal review, he glows up too, and Optimus glows as well. And we'll do a quick twirly woo. A lovely, lovely chrome color, by the way. Red is also a type of chrome. The dark grey is a type of chrome as well. It's kind of hard to see through the camera, but I assure you it has got a nice shine to it in person. And articulation-wise, I love the fact that the armour plates move, so that means when moving the arms, they do not interfere because they move on their own, which is fantastic. Same on the other arm shoulder moves out the way so you can hit awesome poses like that there is no real problem there with articulation of the arms again they can go all the way around up down and the wrists they can go that far in and all the way around and of course they can twist Right as well as you want. Now this one, the cannon doesn't come off, but you can take apart the forearm and stick this this piece here back on if in case you didn't want the cannon, but I'm not sure why. But that's personal preference. And the little one over here, you can easily, I say easily, it's... No. Oh no, I forgot. Yeah. So that's the same as the other arm. you got to take the chrome piece off and then you can take cannon off if, if you want to. That's just there. And again, as I mentioned with the shoulders, because they move, the skirts also move as well. So that means with the leg movement, they don't interfere either. And as you can see, that knee joint goes all the way out. And nearly a double joint. It's, it's kind of a weird way to explain the joint. It's like an L shape. So it's further down the knee, but that allows lovely lovely movement by there and that's the same with the ankles they're on ball joints but yeah leg movement fantastic and the head on a ball joint all the way around so stay tuned for the next video and we'll review optimum